Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and this is uh, part 3, the conclusion of our C++ exercise where we are creating the low shoe magic square. We have everything ready, we have all the functions, we have the uh, functions that generate the random numbers, we have the function that, um, that puts those numbers into our uh, 2D array, we have a function that uh, checks whether that uh, array w creates a uh, a magic square and we have a function that if it is a magic square it will display it on our screen so now let's go to our main method and put it all together now I'm using Visual Studio so our main method my main method has these uh, parameters I can just rename or remove them and have a regular main method so um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create an integer called counter so this will kind of give us uh, an idea how many loops did we do before the app randomly actually picked a magic square the numbers in the, basically pick the numbers in the right order to create a magic square so that's just gonna be uh, something to output on the screen um, which I'm gonna create actually I'm gonna see out our counter after each iteration and so we can kind of visually see that the program is actually doing something or where it's where in what loop or number of what loops uh, has been done so when that when that is done all i have to do is call the get random numbers which it will pick the random numbers that's why it's called that way so uh, i'm gonna call that function call get random numbers And, um, and that's really all because um, uh, and after that we have to check the um, it takes care of adding the numbers uh, into our array it calls the add numbers to array function itself but uh, it, it is not being checked and uh, what I want to do I want to loop until the computer finds the right uh, right numbers you know, or actually generates the numbers in the right order so I'm gonna after I created the counter I'm just gonna go, to go and do the do loop and I'm gonna put this in it so it's basically just gonna loop until it finds the correct uh, configuration of the of the numbers so it prints the counter then it creates the random numbers array and it all will be done while the is magic square returns false. So basically, it does this. Then it comes over here. It checks the is is this magic square. Uh, it returns a boolean true or false. If it returns false, then well, let's do another loop, and it will be doing it until is magic square validates as true in other words yes it comes over here it returns true all these checks um, uh, were correct uh, in other words it did not return false so it skipped all of these if statements returns true and then we exit the loop because now we have the uh, magic square so now after the do loop we can call the populate grid because that one will uh, output our magic square numbers it will basically output this grid with these numbers so um, and uh, since we have the counter at the end we can do something like see out uh, it took how many tries so the counter holds the number of tries that it took to create the magic squares tries all right so uh, and line now I don't know how long this would actually take it may be like millions and millions of tries before it actually randomly picks those nine numbers in correct order yeah so um, I'm not gonna be doing it uh, this is how you would just do it uh, if you had like unlimited computer power because eventually it would find the correct configuration of the numbers 
in the right order but I don't have that time so I'm gonna do something like uh, over here after the get random numbers I will do a simple if the counter equals 10,000 then just break out like don't don't even try anymore and it will break out of the while loop and then we'll actually just populate the gr grid with whatever the last configuration was the 10,000th configuration was so um, let's see if that works and uh, it's building compiling and oh we get all zeros uh, so the because I forgot to increase the counter did I yeah I declared the counter but I'm not increasing it so it will be always zero so uh, uh, obviously before I output it when I do the do loop I have to increase it for each uh, each loop so the, this is gonna be the first one then it's gonna be the second one and so forth so when I run it now here I am with all these numbers oh it's already 5,000 didn't find it yet didn't generate it right all right so at 10,000 it simply breaks out of it this is the last configuration one two four six nine three eight five seven that is not a magic square because obviously the sum one two and four is seven but obviously six nine is 15 plus three is 18 so that's not a magic square but it goes through it and uh, they don't <clears throat> they don't find it now to make sure that we tested correctly that we actually that our conditions are correct I'm going to create a function that I'll call void uh, I'll just call it winning test and in it I will simply uh, assign the winning numbers uh, manually I will simply assign these numbers to I array in this order because this is the winning uh, order so I will do numbers uh, 0 uh, 0 and that's the number I believe the number 4 yeah it's 492 so this is 4 and I'm gonna copy paste it 80 more times because we have nine numbers 3 by 3 right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 0 1 it's gonna be this one and 0 2 and then it's gonna be 1 0 1 and 1 and 1 and 2 and 2 and 0 and 2 and 1 and 2 and 2 2 and 2 so uh, and the numbers go in 492 so it's 4 9 2 oops 2 then the next one is 357 so I will do 3 uh, 5 Oh, what am I doing? Three, five, seven, and the last row is eight one six. So I'll just do eight one and six. So I'm gonna create a prototype uh, up here. So this is the this is how the array would actually win so I'm just gonna do it this is for testing only so it's for testing this is the winning configuration so uh, in order for me to test it <coughs> I'm simply gonna call it from our main method over here um, let's just do let's just say that if it doesn't find it until 500 uh, checks that we will simply call that method it will manually assign those numbers and it should return the uh, the winning grid because that those are the winning numbers so let's see if that's gonna work so if a counter equals uh, it doesn't really matter so let's say 500 tries if it didn't find it by its own we will force it we will cheat and assign those numbers manually so 
we, we, we will assign them, then it goes over here and it's basically going to check those is magic square. Uh, it's gonna check all our logic for checking those numbers. This way we can actually see if it's uh, our logic is correct because if it is not, it would just pass through. Oh, but it didn't. So it is correct. When it hits to 500, it automatically assigns those numbers. It goes to the is magic square and it returns true. Then it populates the grid because we found the magic square configuration 492, 357, and 816 which is the sum of 15, 4, 9 plus 2 is uh, 15, 3, 5, 7 is 15, 8, 1, 6 is 15, and so are the columns and the ones across. So we know that our uh, uh, logic works. So um, I can just comment this out and, uh, you know, it's really up to you. You can increase the loop as much as you want. Let me run it 100,000 times. Uh, it may it may take a long time uh, to actually find anything, uh, and uh, you know I don't want you to be staring at the computer running until it goes uh, through the all the uh, the whole loop. I mean, uh, it may literally takes uh, hundreds of millions of tries. I don't know, but uh, like you saw in our uh, in our little test, we do have the logic correctly. What we don't have, or what I don't have, is the patience and computer power to just let it run until it actually randomly chooses those numbers because the statistics, the the probability of that is really huge. So, you know, I don't feel like sitting here. So I'll just wait until this runs through, which is so far it didn't find anything. It's already on 80,000 uh, uh, iterations. So anyway, um, oh, almost there. I hope that you could see, you know, how these uh, kind of projects are being, you know, uh, put together. So here is our result. It hit 100,000. It didn't find anything. But this is the final configuration. This is the final numbers that were picked randomly. 157, 928, 364. So um, you can play with it and... Uh, if you have time, let it run until it actually finds it. And then you can write in the comment what was the, what the counter number was on that. So, to summarize, in our main method, we create a counter to count the iterations. Uh, we limit it, or I limited it here, just to 100,000. You can limit it to whatever you want, or you can just remove this completely, and it will run until it finds the its magic square, until it returns true. The first thing we do, we populate our, we, we get our uh, random numbers. We'll make sure that each number is there only once. We are picking up number one, numbers one through nine, but we want only one of ones, uh, one of two, one of three, and so forth. So one of eight, one of nine. We don't want two nines or I don't know, three sevens or something like that. So over here we checked and make sure that. Uh, we indeed picked a number that was not already picked. And if it wasn't, we will move it to our array. Since the array was initialized to zeros, we'll check the condition. If it is zero, then it was not uh, populated yet. So populated with that uh, uh, random number that was picked. And this way we'll populate the array one element at a time nicely in order. So when all the nine numbers are uh, already uh, populated, we call the, in our, within our do loop from main method, we'll hit the while over here, which calls the is magic square method that returns true or false. And it simply checks. Uh, first, we will calc we'll simply do the sum of the numbers in the first row. And then against that, we will check the other two rows. We will check the three columns. And then we will check the two uh, cross rows or columns from left to right and right to left. And uh, if any of them don't match the temp sum, we'll simply return false right away. So we don't have to do all the checks because if one of them is wrong, then all then we, it's not a magic square. It's a false. If none of them is a, a hit, in other words, all these are uh, true, 
then we will return true as we have a magic square and when we when that is uh, when that happens this uh, uh, condition becomes false uh, because the magic square is now true and we are looping only while it is not true so we will exit our loop and we will populate the grid populate the grid simply uh, where is that it simply goes through the uh, 3 by 3 grid and outputs one row at a time uh, from our array of numbers and that's all that's how it's done uh, so I hope uh, this was informative that you learned something and uh, I hope it makes sense to you or at least more sense than it did before you uh, watch this video and um, if you liked it leave a like leave a comment share with your friends and I will see you in the next video take care